Hello, it's Richard and John, RJ Coins, and we're back with our £2 head-to-head -head challenge after a little bit of a break. This is part number 12. Uh, I think Team R is just ahead at the moment. We're looking for the elusive Commonwealths, the handovers for the Olympics, uh, Mary Rose, King James Bible, Underground Train, and I do need to look for a 15 Britannia. John, very, very similar with the Commonwealths, the handovers, Mary Rose, King James Bible, and the Underground Train. Also looking for the Golden Guinea, and John needs either of the Britannias. So Team R is definitely just ahead now, but we never know. Despite the fact that I'm ahead, I think I'm getting the extra bag this time round. Just because I am. Do you want to pick the bags though, John? You can take your 12. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Thirteen, excellent. So let's see if we can pick up some of those elusive rare coins. So it is getting more and more difficult for uh, picking those up and nothing at all in that first bag. I think anyone of us that gets a find for their sheet is almost certain to uh, have a good chance of winning the episode now with the coins we're looking for. And of course, John's got a couple of the uh, slightly less rare ones to to find. So he might find the, uh, the quantity as well to, to get him the win. Got the army pals. You know how common those are. Now starting to come out. First find from the first two bags. Three. Three bags even. It's been a long time, can't even count. Nothing else there. Not a good start. Ooh, got a Britannia. That's a 16 though, so not one for the sheets for me. Still a keeper. And we've got Florence Nightingale. Nice coin, but not a new one. Let's go off and run it. Got a Brunel Achievements, the Arches. Find. So I've done a couple of uploads since the last two pound hunt. Got a Brunel portrait here, just checking the edge description. So a little Brunel mini set. It's been on our travels the last few weeks, so there's been a few vending machine finds. And some souvenir medallions from our trip to London as well. Shiny 2015. So check out those videos if you haven't already. Something a little bit different in the break that we've had. And I think there's been another Aussie coin hunt upload in that time as well. So hopefully worth a look. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be much appreciated. Not giving you much to, to beat here, John, so far. Not a great return for Team R. We've got abolition of the slave trade, 1807. 
just two bags to go. Certainly hoping for a lot better than this on the return. Favourite for a John Wynn. Only one keeper, the Britannia 16, so that's a, a marginal one. Oh, we've got a Kitchener. I'll just check the obverse, it's got the two pounds on, so it's not the mule coin. So, just seven finds in total for the 2016 Britannia being the pick. I think this one's in the bag for Team J. He's on his way back. But can he win it with something decent? Got a histories to start off. Relatively common at least. Not worried at the moment. And a bust. Just need another 11 of those and we'll be all right. Kitchener, just to say two pounds on the front, as in on the Queen Head side. Yeah. Yeah, so not the rare one. Two shiny bits in there. And it's a 16 Britannia. So that's one that's for one John for Sheets. So that probably means that he's won already, just for getting one through Sheets. Got more Britannia in there, yeah? Yep. Yep, yeah, another 16 Britannia. Okay, so we can choose the best one for your sheet. Probably that one. Yep. Yeah. And a. Army pals. Army pals, super shiny army pals, common as muck. So Team J is already home and hosed. Let's see if he can smash it out of the park now. Bruno portrait. Let's have a quick look at the edge inscription on that one. A standard. St Paul's. Yeah, common as Muck St Paul's as well. And another Britannia 16. Huh, is that probably the best one? No. I no? Don't, I don't think it's got that bit on the back. Oh, okay. Right, no worries. Bust. Bust. Bus won't save me now though. Another bust. Beating on quantity, beating on quality. Another bust. It's a shame overall though, the hunt has been. A little bit tame to say the least. As many of them have been lately. Super shiny one there. What year is that one? 15. Just check it in. Just make sure it's not rotated. Mate. All normal. Another bust and a bust to the last bag. So just as well you don't need anything to win really, don't you? Yeah. 
and see what we're going to finish up with. We got a Shakespeare comedies. Comedies, you've got that though. You've got the Shakespeare's and it? nice fine. Matter even if I did need something because we've got the first Commonwealth <laughs> of the series. So John back with his last bag luck. Um, what one is it? England. England, definitely in England. I think so. Let's have a quick close look. Um, that's definitely in England. Just give it a close really look at if it's in it. if you can. What's it doing? You gonna focus? That's all right, I suppose. So, uh, I don't know, probably not, but that it'll do. Yeah, so focus. we've got our first Commonwealth. So at least there's a strong finish there. Definitely a Team J win. Uh, two for the Sheets, including the Commonwealth. That's a stormer of a win for John. Uh, hopefully you want to hit that like button for that. And we'll catch you again next time. Thanks very much.